Although the security situation has improved since the Taliban takeover, local businesses in Afghanistan continue to suffer due to economic uncertainty. Women entrepreneurs have also shut down their businesses, fearing reprisals. Carpets are one of Afghanistan's most well-known exports, having been exported around the world for centuries. Afghans working in the country's renowned carpet trade say they fear for their future and that business has taken a hit following the Taliban takeover. Manager of a carpet factory, Sadat Weaving Company, said his primary market used to be the European countries and the US, with carpets making their way overseas through Pakistan. But now, he said the customer base has evaporated, while prices for materials such as wool are rising. <laughs> حکومت قبلی حدود 40-50 نفر کارمند داشتیم که در اینجا کار میکردن در قسمت های مختلف رنگ و میزی، در قسمت پروسیس خود مواد اولیه ازی، در قسمت بافت ازی، مثلا در قسمت توز... ارائه خدمات بر بافندگان و در قسمت طرح و دیزاین ازی، در قسمت بلتی ازی کارمند داشتیم ولی فعلا خوب ما کار نداریم دیگر کارا سقوط کرده، بافت نیست، تولید نیست with the change of government, disruption in banking services and closure of borders, especially the closing of air corridors, carpet industry has been plunged into difficulties. Meanwhile, for 23-year-old Nila Abdurani, who opened the Women's Driving Institution, the first of its kind in Afghanistan, is staring at an uncertain future. She had planned to expand her business by the end of this year. But her plans were dashed with the unexpected arrival of the Taliban in August. Durani says that the day after the Taliban took over, some of their militants came to her office and removed the iron signboard outside. She also claims she was asked to close the office. With her office closed temporarily, Durani says there is still hope that international organizations will come to the rescue and persuade the Taliban to let women like her continue their jobs and businesses.